Okay, so um, I've maybe gotten a little bit too into Elite Dangerous and I'm doing what all the cool kids have done, which is to um, make my own flight chair, hot ass mount, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I um, ordered a couple of these things. Uh, they are um, just screen mounts. They're, they're pole clamp screen mounts. Um, and I already had the rather fantastic Ergo Human chair. If you've got uh, a spare ton of cash lying around and you want like a totally awesome chair, I highly recommend uh, getting, getting one of these. So um, I looked into various different solutions. As you can see, my, uh, the, the table where I have my PC set up is uh, pretty small. So I had the, uh, the throttle here before and I had my uh, joystick here uh, and there wasn't much room for the, uh, for the mouse to go um, after that. So I needed some way of basically clearing some space so everything wasn't so, uh, so built up. So obviously it's, it's nothing new. It's not like I invented this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people on the uh, Frontier forums and on Reddit that have done similar things. Um, but I've never seen it done on this chair before. Um, my original plan was to mount the, um, the parts here. So mount those um, mounting arms on this bit here. Uh, I tried that. I got them on, but unfortunately they didn't... I couldn't move them into the right position. Um, and um, yeah, that, that, so I had to change tactic there. Then I wanted to mount them on here. Uh, and originally I wanted more freedom of movement. So this joint here, uh, there's some screws in there. And you remove the screws and it allows you to lift uh, this up and down. And I thought, at first I thought, okay, brilliant. Uh, I can do that. And then um, I wish people had stopped texting me while I'm trying to film this. Um, and yeah, so I thought, right, okay, let's uh, remove those screws and then I've got some more freedom of movement. But unfortunately, the joint wasn't strong enough to take the weight of um, uh, the joystick. I mean, it's a pretty old joystick now, Microsoft Force Feedback 2. Um, still an amazing stick. Highly recommend um, getting one off eBay if you can find it. Um, it uses a Hall effect sensor rather than uh, potentiometers. Very, very accurate. Um, and uh, I like the fact that I can turn off the spring or I can reduce the amount of spring because it's all done by force feedback motors. Um, I think it's a crying shame that uh, force feedback is largely removed from, uh, from flight sims uh, and space sims games because of the, uh, the real ale um, flight sims saying, oh, well, real planes don't have force feedback joints. Well, they kind of do. It's called, like, physics, you know. But, hey, that's a whole other, other discussion. Uh, but the arm couldn't even hold the weight of the, uh, of the throttle. Um, CH Products Pro Throttle there. Um, I dropped a fair amount of money on that because I've had some money to spend. And you know what? It's one of the greatest uh, purchases I've made uh, in terms of uh, game controllers. Uh, loads of buttons, uh, really nice action on it. Um, it's got a mini analog stick here. Uh, there's software that you can get which uh, allows you to um, uh, program the, the stick. Uh, that's all Windows stuff. Um, in Linux, I ended up writing my own um, software to, uh, to handle it, and it wasn't really that difficult. It was, uh, there, was, there was some stuff online to... Uh, to help me out with that. But again, that's another story as well. Um, so, you know, both sides are pretty much mounted in the same way. It's clamped onto the, uh, onto the handles. Now, this allows me to uh, make adjustments uh, in height should I need to. Um, and the only... I mean, it's pretty sturdy uh, if I just sit in the chair here. Um, at the moment, these are only held on with parcel tape. Uh, which isn't which isn't great. What I need to do is get some uh, industrial strength Velcro uh, to stick them to it. Um, as you can see, it lifts up easily. But with the Velcro, it would be on nice and uh, nice and tight. Um, there's the only wobble in there is like the wobble of the arms themselves, um, which is pretty negligible, really. Um, is the the stick? Um, it's very comfortable. I can move the. Uh, can move everything further in or out wherever I want it to be. 
um, based on you know, however, I'm not even showing the, the thing that I'm doing here. Um, but also, it means that uh, when I'm not playing, if I need to get close to my desk, I can just swing the, uh, the things out uh, to the side. There we go. Uh, get them out the way. And uh, yeah, it kind of looks kind of groovy, but I'd be able to, like, you know, move them out of the way in such a way uh, that, that I, can, I can get to the desk and do some real work uh, without having to go through the rigmarole of, of uh, you know, removing the, uh, the whole kit. Uh, other cool things about it is the fact that it's got this cable management around the side here. Uh, that means I can feed the cables down here. I've got the cables from the throttle uh, going underneath the chair. It means everything comes out um, the same side uh, and I can, I can plug that in there. So, um, um, so yeah, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my setup. Um, obviously, at the moment, my plan is to use it in uh, Elite. Um, but... Um, I also have the rather wonderful uh, X3 uh, Terran Conflict and also Albion Prelude to, uh, to play through. Um, so I'm sure at some point uh, it will be used for that as well. Uh, it's mostly space games that I'm going to be using it for. Uh, I don't rule out the possibility of using it with the uh, you know, uh, contemporary flight sims, but uh, that's not really my bag. So um, uh, I'm kind of in my pyjamas. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to look like. You can't, I don't know if you can see me in the, in the seat here. Uh, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, the cool thing as well is... I uh, don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. I really apologise for the, the utter rubbishness of this filming. Um, I should still be able to... If I lean back, the angle of the... Um, because the arms move back with me, the angle of the throttle and the stick don't change. Um, so I get that full, I don't know, I could pretend that I'm banking or, or whatever in, in, in space. Uh, but it means that whatever angle I want to sit at the, uh, at the chair, uh, everything just remains uh, where it needs to be. Um, I haven't tested this in actual combat yet. My finger getting in the way. I haven't tested this in like you know actual game uh, because I still need to get that Velcro to make sure that this beast uh, remains in place. Um, but maybe I'll maybe I'll give it a go in a sec and, and see what happens. But uh, but yeah, that can't get out without disturbing it. Uh, that right there is my uh, is my spaceship chair, I guess you could call. So, uh, thanks for watching. It's been eight minutes of me talking crap. Um, I'm not going to edit this video because uh, that's the kind of thing a professional would do. And uh, I'm, I'm really not a uh, professional. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, I would say, you know, post your thoughts in the comments. But uh, no one's going to watch this anyway. So, um, uh, post your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe. Tune in on Friday for the next uh, live stream where I'll be playing another uh, one of Steam's most rubbish games. So uh, thank you very much. See you later.